I call it the jock syndrome. I call it the jock syndrome. And keep in mind, the jock syndrome doesn't really necessarily have to be a man. When, when I'm out there training people, the jocks come into the gym, they got this little attitude about them, and I say, start with the 30s and get 15 reps. And they go, 30 pounds? That's too light. I can go heavier than that. So I'm like, okay, go ahead on and go a little heavier. Then by the end of the session, they're like, why am I so weak? Well, number one, you didn't know where I was taking you. So you came in going too fast and thought you knew more than I knew. And now that we're at the end, I'm trying to push you, you have nothing left. Or then there's a guy who always wants to do pull-ups. They always want to do pull-ups. Very few men can do real pull-ups like this. And then I'm spotting them and they say two more. And, they say, and I'm spotting them. I'm like, you want two more? I've been spotting you for eight. Now you're going to tell me you want two more? Who's the trainer here? Who's in charge? You or me? All the guys who's on the bench. <laughs> I'm spotting him for eight reps. And then he says, let's go up. I'm like, I just spotted you for eight reps, and now you want to go up. You know what I do? When they said they want to go up, I put the weight on there, give it to them, and you know what I do? I move my hands. And the weight goes, boom! Oh, I thought you were so bad. No, you're not that bad. You're trying to take over. You got this job syndrome. See, what happened, the same thing. Thank God that God isn't like him. Because a lot of times, we take on more than what God gives us. You're sure God doesn't put more on us than we can bear. But sometimes we take things that God didn't ask us to take. Amen. You go out and grab all this stuff and say, well, Lord ain't going to put no more on me than I can bear. What did God, well, did God tell you to get that? Did God tell you to deal with that? Sometimes we are there. We all everywhere. Everybody says they ain't got time for nothing. They're doing a whole lot of everything, but they ain't doing the best thing. Sometimes you need to sit down and let God tell you when to move. Some, because, because God isn't like him. God been spotting you the whole time. He been carrying you the whole time, and all of a sudden you think, okay, I want two more. God said, I didn't tell you to get two more. But because he's graceful and merciful, he'll give you grace and mercy and carry you through this. But remember this, guys. His word says, God is opposed to the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. You know why Satan messed up? You know why Satan messed up? Because God had him up high. Guess who Satan wanted to be? He wanted to be God. Sometimes some of us, we're doing so good, we want to be God. We do things God didn't tell us to do. We get things God didn't tell us to get. We put loads on us that God didn't tell us to put on us. Be careful. Because Satan will deceive you and think you're doing something good, but you're not doing the best thing. God bless you and keep you. Appreciate it.